These third year theatre art students are currently promoting their end of year play, which will be a culmination of their hard work during their degree. However, budding thespians may not get the chance to take such a degree in the future if the government decides to scrap GCSE drama. Josh Clark, who aspires to be a drama teacher, thinks the changes will seriously damage the children's learning in schools. Drama is all about play, but with that play comes focus and knowledge. And by getting rid of the focus and knowledge, essentially you're leaving students in a classroom with no creativity. Fellow student Richard Scott believes that the lack of job security in the arts is one reason as to why drama could be cut, but thinks that removing it from the syllabus will only harm children's creativity. People are quite scared that, you know, the arts aren't really um, a stable career to go into and I think this is why people are scared to bring it into schools. I don't think you can take away that creative element of the subject because for a lot of kids it's going to be a creative outlet. If they were brought in, the changes wouldn't just affect school children. Caroline Bart, Head of Education at Derby Theatre, said that the changes would affect university applications massively and explains that arts subjects are already under pressure. The arts subjects nationally at university level are suffering because of what's happening in schools because of the message that the government are putting across by sort of saying it's just like you said it's a soft subject it's not not going to be useful for your futures. Although many people think that dropping GCSE drama from the national curriculum may be a bad idea there are people here even at Derby Theatre who think it may not be such a bad idea. Lynn Cunningham and James McPherson think that even without drama on the GCSE syllabus, some students may still be able to achieve high levels, and some might even be better off without the subject. My feeling is that uh, art will force its way through the cracks of society, and no amount of uh, legislation uh, is going to stop it. But I don't think that uh, by stopping it, um, you're going to stop drama. You know, I don't think by stopping teaching art you're going to stop art. I think it's an unstoppable force. The way in which that curriculum is being, uh, has been devised, is being delivered, through no fault of teachers, is really problematic and potentially detrimental because it's, uh, for me, churning out machines. It appears that the path of GCSE drama is still yet unclear, but one thing does remain certain, for budding thespians, it looks a rocky ride ahead. Scott Groom reporting for Derby Sphere.